What's up everyone, I'm Charles Medley and welcome back to My Random Tales. Today we're going to take another little break from the Eric and Thomas season to talk about American Pie. That's right, you all know what American Pie is and if you don't know what American Pie is, then you don't exist. That's just a fact, everyone knows about American Pie. But before we continue, I need you to subscribe to my channel. That's right, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. You don't have to like it yet because you haven't watched the whole video to form an opinion. But subscribe to my channel and click the notifications so that you can be updated on my latest content. All right, let's continue. So what about American Pie are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about the cringiest character, the number one cringiest character in the entire movie. But who? Who is the most cringiest character in that entire series? Heh, <laughs> you're going to be surprised, because, well, there's, there's quite a few, you know, uh, cringy characters. By the way, I'm getting over my fourth cold this year. Yeah, my immune system's shot to crap, thanks to the masks. Gosh, man. Anyways. The cringiest character, there's there's quite a few of them. We got Oz, who drops that really weird line in, in the very beginning where he says, blank me, beautiful. Not going to fully say what he says. We got Paul Finch, who, well, I guess him blasting a dookie in the ladies' room, eh, that was more of an accident than anything. But it's still a very, very embarrassing situation to be in. We have Kevin Myers, who, honestly, come on. That's just cringy. Starting a huge pact to get laid by the end of the year. I mean, seriously, it's not that big a deal. You do it or you don't. And we got Stifler, who's kind of a belligerent loudmouth. Not a very fun kind of person to hang around. I mean, for the audience's sake, us viewers, yeah, the dude's hilarious. Glad he's in the movie. But in real life, I don't think he'd be that, that much fun to be around. He'd probably be really obnoxious and annoying. And last but not least, we got Jim. Oh my gosh. Does it get any cringier than Jim? For Pete's sake, the guy is constantly putting himself in really awkward situations. Having sex with an apple pie. Yeah, who does that? But I'm not minimizing what he did. That's just, because that's just wrong. You just don't do that. But nonetheless, it was in his own house. It was his pie, and both of his parents were gone, and his dad surprisingly came home earlier than he had expected. So, you know, it, you just don't have sex with pies. Bottom line. But you're going to be very surprised when I tell you who the number one most cringiest character is. Because when you watch the whole thing, you're, you're thinking, you know, dang, that's pretty hot. I wish, I wish that would happen to me. It's Nadia. Nadia. All right. Why Nadia? She's so beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's sexy. Yeah, I know. But I'm going to explain to you what a 17-year-old girl does not do. First off. So, all right. If, if she needs help studying for history, fine. So, a 17-year-old girl is going to ask for help, even if it's a guy. A guy that she hears that he's good with history, all right, that, that's fine, ask, whatever. Use your best judgment on that, that's all I can say. If you feel that he might be trouble, don't do it. If you feel he might be safe, all right, do it. But that's something very likely a 17-year-old girl is going to do. All right, so she's just getting done with dance class and needs to change, needs to change at his house, fine. She's going to use his bathroom, she's not going to change in his bedroom unless the bathroom is heavily occupied. All right, fine. Change in his bedroom. Little awkward, little uncalled for, but you got to do what you got to do. What is she going to do? She's just going to change. I don't even think she needs to change her bra. Nadia takes her bra off. She's going to change her shirt, change her pants. All right, let's study. She's not going to just walk around in just her underwear with no bra or anything else and start looking through the boy's stuff. Looking at his pictures, looking in the mirror, patting on her stomach, and all that stuff. She's not going to do that. She's just going to change her clothes, and that's it. A 17-year-old girl is not going to start going through his drawers at his, on, on his nightstand, find adult magazines. All right, I'm just going to say it. Start masturbating to it. That's not going to happen. That is creepy stalker material right there. 
And that's something that a guy would do. I'm not trying to, I ain't trying to do, you know, me too, all this, all this nonsense. You know, I'm just speaking realistically. That is something a guy would do. A Ted Bundy stalker-like figure. Or an incel who has a lot of trouble finding some action. I mean, you're watching the movie and the way everything is set up, it's meant to look non-awkward. It's meant to look you know, hot and sexy and, oh man, I wish I was that lucky to have a beautiful girl like that in my room doing all that. Oh yeah, baby. But in all reality, that is extremely creepy. It is awkward, it's uncomfortable, and it is cringe. So yes, Nadia takes the golden prize as the cringiest character in the entire movie. Goes to a stranger's house to study, starts digging through his drawers, and then starts masturbating to the magazines that he's got. Creepy! Alright, that's all the time I have for you. I'm Charles Medley, and this is My Random Tales. I really have been wanting to cover that for a very long time. And also, I wanted to say, American Pie is a filthy series, and... Yes, I am guilty for watching it. I'm not here to condemn anyone who's watched it or who is watching it. I'm just saying I wouldn't recommend watching it. All right, that's all. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share the video to share the message, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for a back-to-back -back episode of the Eric and Thomas season of My Random Tales. Yes, I am going to just cover it all in one day, and I'm going to be releasing two videos on the same day. Eric will be getting exactly what was coming to him, what's been coming to him for a very long time. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Again, subscribe to my channel. I hope you all had a great day because it would suck if you didn't. God bless.